Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library Podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. As you know, we're on a six-part series, um, the end of the year review, the state of the business and state of your people. Number one question that we talked about was, did you start right? Did you stay right? Number two is, did you personally approve the plan? You know what? This is the one time when you see more people pointing fingers at each other when things aren't going well, right? You know, whose plan is it? I think it's so important that we as the leaders understand the plan and approve, approve the plan and believe that the plan is attainable. Now, obviously, when we communicate that plan, and we'll talk a little bit more about that with our people, they have to understand the plan. Now, look, they may not always approve the plan, and I'm not quite sure that, you know, that's entirely in their, uh, you know, kind of area of expertise or opportunity, but they have to understand the plan and why the plan is built the way it is and how the plan was built. You know, is it built on targeted objectives? Is it built on a plan that when it rolls up, you know, kind of, you know, supports the overall business plan? You may not be asking my approval as the individual, but you certainly want my input and you certainly want me to understand the plan because you're going to hold me accountable to that plan. So I think it's so important that there is approval on both sides, sort of like a bottom-up, top-down plan. You help me build it from the bottom up. We have top-down targets that are part of an overall business plan. If we're a publicly traded company, certainly those plans are plans that are, you know, have been given to the investors that the board has approved. If it's a privately held company, those are the plans that are part of our strategic plan. So these plans all roll up to a, a bigger picture, you know, maybe our six-month, one-year, 18-month strategic plan. But ultimately, as an individual who's going to carry out that plan and being held accountable to that plan, I would I want to understand the plan. And so my approval comes in not saying, yes, I approve of this. It comes from me understanding it, saying, okay, I understand how you got it. I believe I can execute to this plan. I'm in. Well, that's, that's the approval process for me as an individual understanding the plan. You as the individual who's building the plan top down with the bottom up help, you're explaining that plan, but you have to understand that as well. You have to believe that that individual has the opportunity to succeed. Now, it may mean you have to help them, may mean you have to do other things, but at the end of the day, approval of the plan is so important because that's what's going to become such an important part of the accountability. If a person understands the plan, they're empowered to execute the plan, they'll discipline themselves. If they don't understand the plan or don't believe in the plan, unfortunately now you're doing the discipline the best case scenario is they understand the plan you've approved it they've approved it in in their own way by accepting the plan true empowerments when people discipline themselves they'll discipline themselves because they understand the plan and approve it so 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 far we've talked about two key questions did you start right and stay right and did you personally approve the plan and do your people who are executing that plan did they approve the plan by their understanding of the plan until we talk again with, with uh, question number three, have a great rest of your week, and I, we will talk on our next podcast. I want to rock! rock!